What's up, y'all? And of course, welcome to another Alternative Factuals video. So I'm going to be talking about the Cloak and Dagger episode that um just recently passed. Forgive me. Like I said, I am a little bit, I'm going to say busy, but just, you know, things going on. It's Memorial Day, and I still didn't want to at least dip on making this video so that way it can come out tomorrow at the time it's supposed to. But, um... Let me let me kind of dive into a little bit of what we're going to be talking about, you know, him and the, the way his powers work and I guess his ultimate goal and predictions and all that stuff. But before I dive into details, please be sure to like, share and of course, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're feeling and let me know what you predict. You know, I want to know all that stuff in the comments below, especially if you're a big fan of Cloak and Dagger season two. And without further ado, let's kind of jump into it. So Andre Deshane, a very interesting character for season two, for sure. Like that's just undisputable. Now we already know that Andre was a former jazz musician who acquired this kind of feeding powers after being exposed to the dark force and the light force during the explosion on the rocks on golf platform. Basically the same time uh, Tandy and Tyrone achieved their powers. The thing is the side effect of his powers actually manifested practically immediately rather than Tyrone and Tandy. Their powers pretty much activated when they came into contact with each other. So that's that's what we know so far and then obviously where you know became the leader of that sex trafficking ring because his whole thing was basically just to create this massive amount of despair and kind of feed off of it and he was trying to do that on a mass scale basically he's trying to turn that whole despair situation into a large large production but um like i said these are details that we already know now what i want to get into is his abilities and he has very interesting powers and some people are a little confused about how his powers work and um with the episode that just passed, don't get me wrong, like I said, I, I enjoyed the episode a lot and especially it left us on a nice little cliffhanger in regards to what he plans to achieve. Um, I'm going to try and get into it and you know, break down the abilities a little bit more specific and what they're seeking to achieve at least on the end of the second season. So um, basically he has this um, power called despair perception, at least that's what I think people uh, have socially accepted it to be in regards to the Cloak and Dagger uh, TV show, whatever you want to call it. Um, he's capable of causing fear and despair, you know, via visions and hallucinations and all that stuff. We see him do this all the time and using his victims and reading his victims' minds and emotions, and he brings up their deepest fear. Now, I did mention this in a previous episode that he's using an astral form of some sort to enter the Dark Force dimension, which we already know is existent inside of Tyrone because that's mostly his domain in terms of how he teleports and access those dark shadows and all that good stuff. That's really his area. And he's able to tap into the dark force and basically use people's emotions as a way to form connections with them. Now, if you saw the episode, you do know that every person that he comes in physical contact with, he then has a connection in order for them to manipulate, well, in order for him to manipulate their fears and their despair and their emotions, he has an access to do it. So when we saw all those records in the dark force dimension, Basically, he was the one who expanded all those emotions and created that, so to speak, astral form of the record store. So Tyrone's dimension, the Dark Force dimension and all that stuff was, like I said, in itself belonging to him, so to speak. Um, Despair, aka Andre, was only able to access it in an astral form. He didn't have any physical access to that place at that specific moment. And um, that's the reason why, like I said, he was able to, you know, form these connections with different people. And he had so many records. But then that's why when Tyrone got there, when his powers activated eight years later, when he met Tandy... That was exactly when he saw the record store when they went inside and then they saw like all those records and people's names and basically they have a shared access to an ability which like I said is very interesting and it's a nice little concept to their abilities especially because it's a nice little callback to despair in the comic books which I'm pretty sure some of you have gotten a little bit more familiar with knowing that the show is based on you know the cloak and dagger comics that was initially created by Bill Mantlo cool now here's the part that I want to kind of get into because some people seem to be a little confused about it and I want to make sure that everyone is on the same page in regards to the abilities and what basically happened in that last episode. So since he has all those records and since he's formed these connections and with all these people that he's encountered and had physical interactions with in terms of he's physically touched them, uh, despite the fact that um, Mayhem destroyed all those records in a, an attempt to escape or at least kind of interrupt his plans, um, he's using those connections that he had 
had with people that he's had with people over the years and he's basically using it to form this massive massive group of people so that way they can all feel despair all at once and then he's able to enter the dark force dimension physically and what I mean physically, at this point, he no longer is using his astral form to enter it. At this point, at the end of the episode, you see that he's entering it because he ha enters the insignia that implies uh, the lower, or it's using the powers of the lower to enter the Dark Force Dimension. Because remember, in the TV show, the lower and their powers seem to have some sort of tight connection. So he uses these abilities to kind of get into the Dark Force Dimension physically so he can access that door, that exit door that supposedly is going to make him a god. Now, what does this mean for his character? Now, even though his powers, you know, feeds off of despair and all that stuff, he's not self-sufficient, meaning his powers are not constantly filling itself up. He has to always feed. And uh, after a certain amount of time, those migraines come back. He has really intense headaches and he's very sensitive to light. So he must always feed on despair. He must always, always feed on despair. So what we know going forward, at least what we can predict, and I'm pretty sure it's a pretty educated guess, is he wants to get to a state in which he has perpetual despair at his disposal meaning his body is able to constantly feed off of despair but also constantly create despair so that way he doesn't need to always feed on somebody else it's a feeling it's an urge that he can satisfy on his own because he is very heavily dependent on other people in the way that they feel and as we already know um, that we've seen in the I think the last two episodes or it was two episodes ago where Tandy was able to get hope back people are able to get hope back if they have enough of an emotional support system if someone believes in them enough there is a chance that they can get hope back and they can overcome despair and unfortunately when you know the human nature is naturally when you get down yeah some don't get me wrong you'll be down in the dumps for a little bit but eventually your your mind wants to overcome those obstacles and eventually it will and you know if someone learns how to overcome despair then eventually they'll know like okay i know how to permanently do it if i know that this is what i was dealing with before i know how to avoid that and unfortunately when people learn that they eventually will not be a source of, fe of feeding for him so he basically needs to get to a point in which he can exude this perpetual despair and darkness so that was his ultimate goal to basically become his comic book counterpart so that way he can have omnipotent power and even though right now he's saying he just wants to get rid of the migraines ultimately we don't we do know that power corrupts and it corrupts absolutely but uh, let me know what you think about the episode in the comments down below. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe. Uh, like I said, let me know your opinions and your thoughts, your feelings and predictions. I want to know all that in the comments down below. And without further ado, I'll see you later on. Peace out.